Hello and welcome to People's Off channel. Today I am back with one more interesting tutorial on People's Off search and analytics. When I say People's Off search, I am not talking about the usual component search. I am talking about keyword or global search. Let me explain this. If you want to search something on Google, for example, Oracle People's Off, you type the word Oracle People's Off and click enter. then google will crawl the entire web for you and show you the search results the same thing can be done within people soft application you can type a keyword and click enter it will search the entire people soft application database and it can show you the search results of course you can control who and what they can see you might say hmm your users are used to navigation and they don't care about global search but as a people soft developer you can no longer get away with the component search because if you want to take advantage of people soft latest features like people soft analytics or data visualizations you need to have a deep understanding of people soft search framework because people soft analytics is built on top of people soft search framework don't worry about it i am here to help you like my other previous tutorials i will guide you step by step in this episode i will give you the lay of the land of people soft search framework i will take a real life example and step through the framework all right without further delay let's get started first let me begin by showing you the big picture of people soft server architecture that includes both search as well as analytics by the way all of you should have access to this diagram because i pull this diagram from oracle people books i will also share with you the direct link for this architecture diagram in the description below i understand seeing this can be overwhelming but don't worry like i said i will explain the flow with the help of an example i am logging into people soft application let's take a case One of our users wants to update the address of a supplier named Oracle. One way to do this is the usual way: navigate to the supplier component, supplier information, add update, supplier, provide the supplier name, and click on the address, and do whatever you want to do. Pretty lengthy process, right? The same task can be done. with the help of global search let me show you click on the global search icon and search for the supplier oracle that's it all you need to do is select the same page from the search results isn't it easy no navigation no data entry all it takes is a couple of clicks let's go back to the search results obviously the data did not pop up from a thin air right there might have been some configuration and background processing involved behind the scenes i will try to give you a glimpse of what might have happened behind the scenes with the help of architecture diagram where do i begin the story i will begin with creating query definitions if you want to show a specific information as part of search results first you need to create a data source data source can be a query connected query it can also be a file or a web page but in our specific example it's a connected query once you create a query definition you link it with the search definition this was the connected query that was created to display the supplier component data i will click on the view query and we can also run the data after running the connected query i can search for oracle as you can see the data related to our supplier information in our case it's oracle and this is the link which you clicked from the search results now you can visualize the results shown from global search are from the connected query once you created connected query and linked it with search definition for example there are 1000 rows of data that data is flown to our search server using integration gateway to elastic search server people soft is banking on elastic search engine to deliver the search results it's a open source search engine which means free no license fee 
all our search data is stored in the elastic search server if you are on latest people tools the data is transferred in a different method called direct transfer skipping integration broker and directly through process scheduler it inserts the data into elastic search server once you have all the searchable data in elastic server you can run analytics with one more open source software called kibana we are going to use kibana in our tutorial too now let's understand what happened after you entered the keyword oracle in the global search and clicked enter what happened behind the scenes is your people soft web browser communicated with elastic server through integration broker and elastic search server returned the search results through integration broker and displayed on your browser do you know what kind of integration they are using here they are using restful web services if you want to know more about restful web services you can watch my previous tutorial that's my story about people soft search framework i hope you liked it let me show you my banking information banking bank accounts external accounts let me search this is my banking information right now i am unable to search this data globally if i try to search for this bank account information right now it is showing the customer data but it is not showing banking information in the next video we are going to get our hands dirty and make sure the banking data is searchable globally i really hope this episode is helpful for you if so don't forget to subscribe my channel for more interesting videos thank you for watching see you in the next episode bye bye